Hey folks, Doug from First Tech. On today's episode of My First Tech Academy, we're going to look at how to flash by firmware. So we get a lot of calls, a lot of questions, how do I flash for a specific firmware? Today we're gonna to cover that and we'll go into detail on how to actually get a specific firmware, and not only a specific firmware, but a specific version of a firmware if there's something special that is required. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to navigate to the flashing page. So we're gonna to go to myfirsttech.idatalink.com. We're going to plug in our interface. In this particular case, we'll use a CMX brain with a Blade AL. And then we're going to simply click on flash your module. So this is where we start. You're gonna be logged in, click on flash your module. Once the computer detects which hardware is connected, we're going to proceed with the following steps. We're going to click on, very simply, flash by firmware. This allows us to pick a specific firmware for a specific vehicle group. So these firmwares are now listed very specifically by that group. So this is not a flash by vehicle, so you need to know which firmware you're after. So to figure out which firmware is appropriate for your vehicle, you can go to the main page and filter out by vehicle, or you can actually go and flash by vehicle, and then come back to this page where it shows you how to flash by firmware. So in this particular case, we would fla let's flash for DLCH4. This is a Chrysler firmware for the tip start vehicles. And now we can flash for this particular firmware. What I would caution you with this though, is if you're flashing by firmware, it doesn't load any vehicle specific options. So it doesn't populate anything which becomes uh, critical when you're talking about certainly Honda Kia platforms, things like that, because those actually pick, pick the platform when you enter the vehicle information. So this is only done in specific use cases if you're looking for a particular version of a firmware or you're instructed to do so by us here in tech support. So this is going to load the default firmware. So it'll tell you right here which firmware you're about to flash for. So this particular one is COM Blade AL DL CH4 version 2.8. Now, if you need to flash for an older version of the firmware, if we instruct you to do so, you're going to simply click on see details on this page. At that point, you're going to see a history tab appear underneath. You're going to click on the history tab. And this will show you all of the available versions of the firmware that you can flash for, as well as the release notes to tell you what was done and what was addressed by that particular version. So this version or this particular firmware, you can see there's only two versions available. This firmware has been around for a very long time, so there's not a lot of improvements. The current version has been flashing for the last six years, actually, at this point. So this is not one that we would typically tell you to roll back on. We know that this firmware is very solid. However, this is a good example of how to get to a specific version on a specific firmware. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day.